Chapter 1. The Unexpected Request. The late afternoon sun cast a warm glow through the window, illuminating the cozy living room where Chris and John sat. Their laughter filled the air as they reminisced about their high school days, sharing stories of awkward encounters and hilarious mishaps. John's eyes sparkled as he looked at Chris, his best friend since childhood. Hey, Chris, he began, his tone a mix of uncertainty and excitement. I've got something kinda crazy to ask you. Chris raised an eyebrow, intrigued by the sudden change in John's demeanor. Crazy, you say? Go on, I'm all ears. John took a deep breath, his fingers fidgeting with the hem of his t-shirt. Well, you know how my parents have been pestering me about finding a girlfriend, right? Chris nodded, his curiosity growing. He had heard John mention his parents' expectations before, but he hadn't realized just how much they were pressuring him. I've got this family holiday coming up, John continued, his words rushed as if he were afraid he might lose his nerve. It's a week-long trip to our beach house, and my parents are going to be there. They keep asking about my love life, and honestly, I'm just tired of the whole thing. Chris frowned sympathetically. He could only imagine how uncomfortable it must be for John, especially if his parents were constantly hounding him about his relationship status. I get it. Family gatherings can be intense. Exactly, John exclaimed, relief evident in his voice as Chris understood his predicament. So, here's my crazy idea. What if, what if you could be my girlfriend for the week? Chris blinked, his mind racing to process what he had just heard. The room fell silent as he stared at John, his brain struggling to catch up with the unexpected request. Wait, you want me to be your girlfriend? John's cheeks turned a shade of pink as he scratched the back of his head nervously. I know, it sounds absurd. But think about it. You're my best friend, and you're really good at understanding people. I just need someone who can be my girlfriend for the week, so my parents will finally get off my back. Chris's lips twitched into a half-smile. He couldn't deny that John's proposition was bizarre, but he also realized how desperate his friend must be to resort to such an unconventional solution. You want me to pretend to be your girlfriend? John nodded, his eyes pleading. Just for the week. We'll hang out, act like a couple, and hopefully, my parents will drop the whole girlfriend thing once they see that I'm not alone. Chris leaned back on the couch, his mind whirling with thoughts. He had always been open-minded, and he valued his friendship with John more than anything. But the idea of pretending to be someone's girlfriend was a level of commitment he hadn't anticipated. You're not pressuring me into this, are you? Chris asked, his gaze fixed on John's face, searching for any signs of manipulation. John shook his head vigorously. No, of course not. I wouldn't ask you if you weren't comfortable with it. It's just, you're the only person I can think of who would actually go along with something like this. A mixture of emotions surged within Chris. He felt a combination of flattery, amusement, and apprehension. While the idea was certainly unconventional, he also knew that he and John shared a bond strong enough to weather such an odd experiment. Okay, Chris finally said, a hint of a smile tugging at the corners of his lips. I'll do it. But on one condition. John's eyes widened with curiosity. What's the condition? Chris leaned forward, his gaze locking onto John's. I want to know everything about your family, your beach house, and the dynamics at play during this holiday. The better I understand the situation, the more convincingly I can play the part. John grinned, relief washing over him. Deal. I'll fill you in on all the details, I promise. As the two friends sealed their agreement with a handshake, Chris couldn't help but marvel at the absurdity of it all. Little did he know that this unusual favor would lead to a week of transformation, self-discovery, and unexpected connections that would change his life in ways he never could have imagined. Chapter 2. 
puzzling proposal. The sun had begun its descent, casting a warm and gentle glow that danced across the room. Chris and John sat on the couch, their faces illuminated by the soft light filtering through the window. The air was thick with anticipation, the weight of John's words from the previous conversation still hanging in the air. Chris fiddled with the corner of a throw pillow, his eyes fixed on the patterns as he processed what John had just asked. So, let me get this straight, Chris began, his voice measured. You want me to pretend to be your girlfriend for a week during this family holiday? John shifted in his seat, his gaze meeting Chris's. He nodded, his expression a mix of earnestness and nervousness. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit crazy, I know, but I'm desperate here. I can't take the constant pestering from my parents anymore. Chris couldn't help but chuckle at John's candidness. I've known you for years, and this has got to be one of the most unexpected requests you've ever made. John let out a nervous laugh, his fingers drumming lightly on his knee. I know, I know. But think about it, Chris. You're open-minded, easy to talk to, and you've always been supportive of me. Plus, you're my best friend. Who better to help me out in this crazy situation? Chris considered John's words carefully. He had always valued their friendship and admired John's loyalty, even when things got tough. But this was an entirely new level of loyalty, one that required him to assume a role that was far from his own identity. You know, John, Chris said, a thoughtful look crossing his face, I can't deny that it's a tempting idea. But this is pretty intense. We're not talking about a small favor here. John leaned forward, his earnest gaze meeting Chris's. I wouldn't ask if I didn't really need this. And I promise I'll make it as painless as possible for you. It's just for a week, and then we can go back to normal. Chris nodded slowly, his mind racing with thoughts. What do you expect from me during this week, he asked, his curiosity getting the better of him. John's eyes lit up as he leaned in, eager to explain his plan. We'll have to act like a couple, hold hands, share meals, maybe even steal a kiss or two. Nothing too dramatic, just enough to convince my parents that I'm not a lost cause in the romance department. Chris chuckled at the visual John's description painted. And what if they ask us about our history as a couple? Do I need to come up with a backstory? John nodded. Exactly. We can say we've been together for a few months, and that's why they haven't met you yet. You know, just to make it believable. A grin tugged at the corner of Chris's lips. And what about the beach house? Are there any details I need to know? John's expression turned thoughtful as he leaned back, clearly considering how much information to share. Well, it's a big, rustic family house right by the beach. We've been going there for years, so my family knows it like the back of their hands. There's a fire pit in the backyard, a huge deck for sunbathing, and a bunch of old board games in the living room. It's pretty relaxed, actually. Chris nodded, absorbing the details. Sounds nice, actually. And your parents? What should I know about them? John's face lit up as he began sharing anecdotes about his parents, their personalities, interests, and quirks. Chris listened attentively, his mind forming a mental image of the people he was about to meet, even if only temporarily. As the conversation continued, it became clear that while John's proposal was indeed unconventional, it was also a reflection of their friendship. It spoke of the trust they had built over the years, the kind of trust that allowed them to make outrageous requests without fear of judgment. You know, Chris mused, a playful glint in his eye, this could either be a disaster or the most hilarious adventure we've ever embarked on. John's laughter filled the room, a mix of relief and genuine amusement. I'm hoping for the latter. But seriously, Chris, if you're not up for this, I'll understand. I don't want to pressure you into anything you're uncomfortable with. Chris leaned back, a small smile playing on his lips. You're lucky I'm a bit crazy myself, John. I'll do it. Let's make this week-long escapade one for the books. John's grin was infectious, his eyes alight with a mixture of gratitude and excitement. You're the best, Chris. This is going to be epic. As the two friends sealed their agreement once again, the room seemed to buzz with a newfound energy. Chris couldn't help but feel a mix of nervousness and anticipation. Little did he know that this seemingly crazy proposal would lead to a journey of transformation, unexpected connections, 
and a deeper understanding of both himself and his relationship with John. Chapter 3. John's Dilemma. The days leading up to the family holiday passed in a whirlwind of preparations and anticipation. Chris and John found themselves caught up in a frenzy of shopping trips, late-night planning sessions, and laughter-filled discussions about the upcoming charade. One evening, as the sun began its descent, Chris and John sat in Chris's living room, surrounded by stacks of magazines, a notepad, and a pen. They were knee-deep in brainstorming ideas for Christina's backstory, the story they would tell John's family about their fictional relationship. Chris tapped the pen against his chin, deep in thought. So, we need to come up with a backstory that's convincing but not too complicated. Something that won't fall apart under scrutiny. John nodded in agreement, his brow furrowed as he stared at the notepad. Right. It has to be believable enough that my parents won't suspect a thing. But it also can't be too elaborate, or we'll end up tripping over our own lies. Chris chuckled. Exactly. So, let's start with the basics. How did Christina and I meet? John leaned back against the couch, his fingers drumming against the armrest. Hmm. Let's say we met at a mutual friend's party a few months ago. You were visiting town, and we hit it off. Chris nodded thoughtfully. That works. It explains why your family hasn't met me before. Now, what's our connection? Why have we been together for a few months, but haven't introduced me to your parents? John's lips curved into a mischievous grin. Let's say I was hesitant about introducing you to my family at first. You know, I wanted to make sure you were the right one before I brought you into the crazy fold. Chris laughed, shaking his head. Okay, that's believable. So, our relationship has been a bit of a secret until now? Exactly, John affirmed. But now that we've been together for a while and things are getting more serious, I thought it was time for you to meet the family. Chris jotted down the details on the notepad, creating a rough outline of their fictional love story. As they worked, he couldn't help but marvel at the creativity they were putting into this elaborate ruse. It was strange, exciting, and a bit nerve-wracking all at once. After a while, their conversation shifted to logistics, the logistics of the holiday itself. Chris had a million questions about the beach house, John's family dynamics, and what to expect during the week. John answered each question with patience, revealing more about the people and place that would soon become their temporary reality. So, tell me more about your parents, Chris prompted, genuinely curious about the people he was about to meet. John's eyes lit up as he leaned forward. My parents are pretty chill, actually. They're the reason we've been going to the beach house for years. My dad loves to fish, and my mom is all about those beach bonfires. They're both really easygoing, but they can be a bit persistent when it comes to certain things. Chris raised an eyebrow, a playful grin forming. Persistent? Like what? John let out a sheepish laugh. Like my relationship status, for example. They mean well, but they've been on my case about getting a girlfriend for a while now. It's like they're worried I'm never going to settle down. Chris couldn't help but chuckle. Well, I guess that's where I come in, huh? John grinned. Exactly. You're my temporary solution to their never-ending questions. As the evening wore on, their conversation veered into more light-hearted topics. They talked about the beach house's history, the beautiful sunsets they would witness, and the various activities they could do as a couple. Speaking of couple activities, Chris said with a sly grin, do you want us to be all lovey-dovey during the holiday? Holding hands, cuddling by the fire, that kind of thing? John's cheeks turned a faint shade of pink as he cleared his throat. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to go overboard, but a bit of affection wouldn't hurt. Just to make it convincing. Chris's laughter filled the room. I can't believe we're actually discussing this. Holding hands and cuddling for the sake of your parents' peace of mind. John chuckled along, shaking his head in disbelief. Yeah, it's pretty surreal, isn't it? But hey, at least we're in this together. Chris nodded, a warm feeling settling in his chest. Absolutely. And who knows, this might actually turn out to be a fun adventure. As the evening drew to a close, Chris and John finalized their backstory and discussed their next steps. They were in this together, navigating the strange and unexpected path they had chosen. 
Despite the oddity of the situation, they couldn't deny the camaraderie that had only grown stronger as they faced the challenges ahead. Little did they know that the week-long holiday would bring about more than just laughs and affectionate charades. It would be a journey of transformation, self-discovery, and unexpected connections that would forever alter the course of their lives. Chapter 4. A Transformative Idea The sun was a warm, golden orb in the sky, casting long shadows across the room as Chris and John sat at the kitchen table. The table was littered with an array of makeup products, brushes, and hair accessories. Chris studied the assortment with a mix of curiosity and apprehension, his heart racing at the thought of what was to come. John glanced at Chris, his eyes full of excitement. Are you ready for this, Chris? It's going to be a bit of a transformation, but I promise it'll be fun. Chris let out a nervous chuckle, his fingers tapping lightly against the table. Yeah, I'm ready, I think. It's just. I've never done anything like this before. John reached across the table and placed a reassuring hand on Chris's arm. I know it's a bit out of your comfort zone, but we're in this together. And besides, it's all in good fun. With a deep breath, Chris nodded, his nerves mingling with a sense of adventure. You're right. Let's do it. As they began to work, Chris found himself engulfed in a whirlwind of colors, brushes, and expert guidance from John. He watched in awe as John transformed into a makeshift makeup artist, explaining each step with patience and enthusiasm. John's eyes lit up as he talked about blending techniques, color palettes, and the art of creating a natural look. Now, close your eyes and relax, John instructed, his voice soothing as he held a brush poised above Chris's eyelids. Chris obeyed, feeling a strange mixture of vulnerability and trust. The brush touched his skin, and he flinched involuntarily, causing John to let out a gentle laugh. Don't worry, I won't poke your eye out. As John continued his work, Chris let his mind wander, reflecting on the bizarre turn of events that had led them to this moment. He had gone from agreeing to a crazy proposition to sitting at a table, undergoing a transformation into someone he had never been before. And he was doing it all for the sake of his friendship with John. After what felt like both minutes and hours, John finally stepped back, revealing a mirror in front of Chris. Chris's eyes widened as he looked at his reflection. The person staring back at him was a version of himself he had never seen before, someone with delicately lined eyes, rosy cheeks, and lips adorned with a soft shade of lipstick. Chris's voice came out in a near whisper as he studied his reflection. I can't believe it. I actually look like, like a different person. John's face broke into a wide grin as he leaned over Chris's shoulder to get a better look. You look amazing, Chris. Trust me, my makeup skills are top-notch. Chris couldn't help but laugh, feeling a mixture of disbelief and wonder. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be wearing makeup. This is surreal. John chuckled, his fingers tracing a few strands of hair that had fallen loose. And we're not even done yet. Wait until you see the hair and outfit. As the transformation continued, Chris found himself slipping further into the role of Christina. John had carefully chosen an outfit that matched the persona they were creating, a casual yet chic ensemble that included a flowy summer dress and a pair of sandals. Chris stared at the outfit, still amazed by the extent to which he was willing to go for his friend. John's voice broke through his thoughts. You ready for the final touch? Chris met John's gaze in the mirror and nodded, his heart racing with a mixture of excitement and nerves. With a skilled hand, John began styling Chris's hair, his fingers deftly working through each strand. As he worked, they chatted about everything and nothing, sharing stories, making jokes, and finding comfort in each other's presence. When John finally stepped back, Chris turned to face the mirror once more. The transformation was complete, and the reflection that stared back at him was nothing short of astonishing. Gone was Chris, replaced by Christina, a version of himself he had never known, yet somehow felt familiar. As the day turned into evening, Chris and John sat on the couch, basking in the glow of their shared accomplishment. The room was filled with makeup remnants, clothes strewn across the furniture, and an atmosphere of camaraderie that felt stronger than ever. John leaned back against the couch, his eyes fixed on Chris, with a mixture of admiration and pride. You know, Chris, you're pretty incredible. Not many people would go to such lengths for a friend. Chris chuckled, his fingers idly playing with a strand of hair. 
I think we're both a little crazy, John. But I have to admit, I'm curious to see how this whole thing plays out. John grinned, his gaze warm and sincere. Me too. And no matter what happens, I'm grateful to have you by my side through all of this. As the day came to a close, Chris couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement and trepidation for the week ahead. Little did he know that his transformation into Christina was just the beginning of a journey that would challenge his perceptions, lead him to new discoveries, and bring him closer to John than he could have ever imagined. Chapter 5 the makeover begins. The morning sunlight filtered through the curtains, casting a gentle glow in the room where Chris and John had gathered. The air was charged with a mix of excitement and nervous energy as they prepared to embark on the first step of Chris's transformation into Christina. Surrounded by an array of makeup products, brushes, and hair accessories, Chris sat in front of a mirror, studying his reflection with a mixture of curiosity and apprehension. John stood beside him, a determined expression on his face as he organized the makeup items with precision. All right, Chris, first things first, John began, his tone upbeat. We're going to start with a clean canvas. So, let's cleanse your face and apply a light moisturizer. Chris nodded, his gaze fixed on the mirror as he followed John's instructions. He gently cleansed his face, removing any traces of oil or dirt. As he applied the moisturizer, he couldn't help but notice the irony of the situation, here he was, preparing to undergo a makeover he had never imagined himself participating in. Once your skin is prepped, we can move on to the fun part, John said with a grin. Makeup. Chris let out a nervous chuckle, his heart racing with a mix of excitement and uncertainty. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Makeup has never been my thing. John's laughter filled the room, his voice light-hearted. Trust me, by the time we're done, you'll be a makeup pro. As they began the makeup application, John explained each step with patience and enthusiasm. He talked about foundation shades, concealer techniques, and the importance of blending to achieve a natural look. Chris watched in awe as John expertly worked the makeup brushes, transforming ordinary products into tools of artistic expression. Now, close your eyes, John instructed, his voice soothing as he held an eyeshadow palette in his hand. We'll go for a soft, neutral look to enhance your eyes. Chris obeyed, his fingers gripping the edge of the table as he braced himself for the unfamiliar sensation of makeup application. He felt a gentle brush against his eyelids, and he flinched slightly before relaxing into the sensation. John's voice was a constant stream of guidance and encouragement as he blended eyeshadows, lined Chris's eyes, and expertly applied mascara. With each stroke of the brush, Chris found himself slowly letting go of his initial apprehension, replaced by a newfound sense of curiosity. As the makeup application continued, John's words became more than just instructions, they were a channel of camaraderie and connection. They talked about everything from makeup techniques to shared memories, their laughter filling the room as they embarked on this unconventional adventure together. When Chris finally opened his eyes and looked at his reflection, he couldn't believe what he saw. The person staring back at him had delicate, defined eyes that seemed to carry a spark of newfound confidence. The makeup had transformed his features in a way he had never thought possible. John's eyes lit up as he met Chris's gaze in the mirror. You look amazing, Chris. Seriously, you're a natural. Chris blinked, his heart racing with a mixture of disbelief and pride. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually like how I look. John chuckled, his fingers brushing a stray strand of hair from Chris's face. We're not done yet. Wait until you see the finished look. As they moved on to the next steps of makeup application, blush, highlighter, and lip color, Chris found himself becoming more comfortable with the process. The initial awkwardness had faded, replaced by a sense of camaraderie with John and a growing fascination with the transformation taking place. When John finally stepped back and held up a mirror for Chris to see, Chris's breath caught in his throat. The reflection that stared back at him was a version of himself he had never known, a person with rosy cheeks, defined eyes, and lips that held a hint of color and shine. I can't believe it, Chris whispered, his voice a mixture of disbelief and awe. I actually look, different. John's grin was infectious as he clapped Chris on the back. You look incredible, Christina. Now, all we have to do is style your hair and choose an outfit that matches this new and improved you. As they moved on to the hairstyling portion of the makeover, 
Chris felt a surge of anticipation. John's expertise was evident as he worked his magic, creating loose waves that framed Chris's face in a way he had never seen before. With each twist and curl, Chris felt himself embracing this emerging identity of Christina. By the time the makeover was complete, Chris was staring at a reflection that felt simultaneously familiar and foreign. The person who looked back at him had undergone a transformation that went beyond the physical, it was a transformation of perception, self-expression, and a willingness to step outside his comfort zone. As Chris and John exchanged a triumphant high-five, Chris couldn't help but feel a growing sense of excitement for the week ahead. He was no longer just Chris, he was Christina, a new version of himself that was ready to embrace the unexpected, challenge societal norms, and embark on a journey of self-discovery that was beyond his wildest imagination. Chapter 6. Emerging as Christina. The morning sun streamed through the windows, casting a warm and inviting glow across the room. Chris stood in front of a full-length mirror, dressed in a casual yet stylish outfit that John had selected the previous night. His heart raced with a mix of anticipation and nervousness as he prepared to fully embrace his role as Christina. Beside him, John adjusted his own attire, his eyes filled with a mixture of excitement and pride. Are you ready for this, Christina? Chris took a deep breath, his fingers trembling slightly as he adjusted a bracelet on his wrist. As ready as I'll ever be, I guess. John flashed a reassuring smile, his hand gently resting on Chris's shoulder. You're going to rock this, I promise. Just be yourself, but with a little extra flair. Chris nodded, his reflection staring back at him, a version of himself he had never seen before. His hair, expertly styled by John, cascaded down his shoulders in loose waves. His makeup was subtle yet transformative, enhancing his features in a way that felt both surreal and empowering. As they made their way to the beach house, Chris's heart raced with a mixture of excitement and uncertainty. He couldn't shake off the feeling that he was stepping into a completely new identity, one that was both exhilarating and disorienting. When they arrived, the scent of salt water and the sound of crashing waves greeted them. The beach house stood before them, its weathered wood and cozy charm creating an inviting atmosphere. John's family was already gathered outside, chatting and setting up for the day's activities. As Chris and John approached, John's mother spotted them and beamed with delight. John. And who's this lovely young lady? John squeezed Chris's hand gently, his smile widening. Mom, this is Christina. Christina, meet my mom. Chris extended a hand with a warm smile, suppressing the butterflies in his stomach. It's so nice to finally meet you. John's mother, Carol, took Chris's hand with a friendly grin. Likewise, dear. John has been telling us so much about you. Chris's heart raced, his mind racing to keep up with the facade. Only good things, I hope. Carol chuckled, a twinkle in her eyes. Oh, of course. I've heard all about your mutual interests and your amazing sense of humor. As Chris chatted with Carol, he found himself being pulled into a conversation that felt both surreal and strangely exhilarating. The more he spoke, the easier it became to slip into the role of Christina, to laugh, make jokes, and share stories as if he had been doing it all his life. As the day progressed, Chris interacted with John's family, each encounter feeling like a delicate dance of emotions and perceptions. He played beach games, helped prepare meals, and even joined in on a sing-along around the fire pit. The feeling of being someone else, of embodying a new identity, was simultaneously thrilling and unsettling. During a quiet moment by the beach, Chris found himself alone with John. They stood side by side, gazing out at the waves crashing against the shore. Chris couldn't help but feel a mix of gratitude and vulnerability in John's presence. Are you okay? John asked softly, his gaze fixed on the horizon. Chris nodded, a wistful smile on his lips. Yeah, just taking it all in. This is definitely an experience I never saw coming. John's expression turned thoughtful as he turned to face Chris. I know it's a lot, Chris, and I really appreciate you going along with this. You're doing an amazing job, by the way. Chris's heart warmed at the genuine praise. Thanks, John. It's definitely been an eye-opening experience. John's eyes softened as he met Chris's gaze. You know, I've been thinking about this whole situation. 
It's made me realize that we can be whoever we want to be, regardless of what society expects of us. Chris's eyebrows raised in curiosity. What do you mean? John's voice was thoughtful as he spoke. When you agreed to become Christina, you embraced a new identity. It's not about hiding who you are, it's about discovering new facets of yourself and challenging the norms that hold us back. Chris's gaze lingered on John, his words resonating deeply. I never thought of it that way. It's strange how stepping into someone else's shoes can help you understand yourself better. John nodded, a small smile playing on his lips. Exactly. And you've done more than just help me out, Chris. You've shown me that it's okay to be unconventional, to embrace change and challenge expectations. As the sun dipped lower in the sky, Chris found himself reflecting on the profound truth in John's words. In his attempt to support his friend, he had stumbled upon a journey of self-discovery, one that was leading him to a greater understanding of his own identity and the power of embracing the unexpected. As the day came to a close, Chris couldn't shake off the feeling that his transformation into Christina was more than just a charade. It was a path of personal growth, an exploration of new possibilities, and a reminder that sometimes, stepping out of one's comfort zone can lead to the most transformative experiences of all. Chapter 7 Unveiling Christina The day of the family beach outing had arrived, and Chris's heart raced with a mixture of excitement and nerves. As he stood in front of the mirror, dressed in the outfit John had chosen the previous night, he couldn't help but feel a sense of detachment from the reflection that stared back at him. Beside him, John adjusted his own outfit, his expression a mix of anticipation and pride. You ready for this, Christina? Chris took a deep breath, his fingers trembling slightly as he smoothed down the fabric of his dress. Yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. John flashed a reassuring smile, his hand resting gently on Chris's shoulder. You're going to knock their socks off. Just remember, it's all in good fun. With a nervous chuckle, Chris nodded, his gaze fixed on the mirror as he took in his appearance. The outfit John had chosen was a perfect blend of casual and chic, a flowy summer dress that matched the persona of Christina they were creating. As they made their way to the beach house, Chris's heart raced with a mixture of excitement and uncertainty. The sun hung high in the sky, casting a warm and inviting glow over the surroundings. John's family was already gathered outside, setting up for the day's activities. As Chris and John approached, John's mother, Carol, spotted them and beamed with delight. John. And who's this lovely young lady? John squeezed Chris's hand gently, a proud smile on his lips. Mom, this is Christina. Christina, meet my mom. Chris extended a hand with a warm smile, his nervousness masked by an air of confidence. It's so nice to finally meet you. Carol took Chris's hand with a friendly grin. Likewise, dear. John has been telling us all about you. Chris's heart raced, his mind racing to keep up with the facade. Only good things, I hope. Carol chuckled, a twinkle in her eyes. Oh, absolutely. He's mentioned your mutual interests and your amazing sense of humor. As Chris chatted with Carol, he found himself being pulled into a conversation that felt both surreal and exhilarating. The role of Christina seemed to come naturally, and the stories flowed as if she had been a part of Chris's identity all along. Throughout the day, Chris engaged with John's family in various activities, from playing beach games to helping prepare meals. Every interaction felt like a delicate balance between staying true to the persona of Christina and allowing hints of his own personality to shine through. During a quiet moment by the shoreline, Chris found himself alone with John. They stood side by side, the sound of crashing waves providing a soothing backdrop to their conversation. Are you doing okay? John asked softly, his gaze fixed on the horizon. Chris nodded, a small smile tugging at his lips. Yeah, it's been a bit surreal, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. John's eyes softened as he met Chris's gaze. You're doing more than just playing a role, Chris. You're embodying a side of yourself that's been hidden away. It's pretty incredible, if you ask me. Chris's smile widened, his heart warming at John's words. It's strange how pretending to be someone else can bring out aspects of your own personality that you didn't know existed. John's gaze held a mixture of admiration and understanding. Exactly. 
And I have to say, you're doing an amazing job at it. As the day continued, Chris found himself drawn into various conversations with different family members. He shared anecdotes, laughed at jokes, and even participated in a sing-along around the fire pit as evening descended. Amidst the laughter and camaraderie, Chris couldn't shake off the feeling that this experience was more than just a charade, it was a journey of exploration, both of himself and the connections he was forming with John's family. As the sun dipped lower in the sky, casting shades of pink and orange across the horizon, Chris's transformation into Christina took on a new dimension. It wasn't just about the makeup, the outfit, or the role, it was about the connections he was forging, the memories he was creating, and the understanding he was gaining about the power of embracing the unexpected. As the day came to a close, Chris and John sat on the beach, watching the stars twinkle into existence one by one. The sound of the waves provided a soothing rhythm, a reflection of the journey they had embarked upon together. You know, John mused, his voice soft, I'm starting to think that Christina might be more than just a character we've created. Chris turned to face John, his expression curious. What do you mean? John's gaze was thoughtful as he spoke. She's brought out a side of you that's confident, open, and unafraid to challenge norms. Maybe there's a bit of Christina in all of us. Chris's smile was warm as he met John's eyes. You might be onto something, John. This experience has shown me that we can be whoever we want to be, regardless of what society expects of us. John nodded, a contented expression on his face. Exactly. And it's all about finding that balance between embracing new identities and staying true to who we are at our core. As the stars shone brightly above them, Chris couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the journey he had embarked upon. He had stepped into a role that was both challenging and exhilarating, and in doing so, he had gained a deeper understanding of himself, his friendship with John, and the infinite possibilities that existed beyond the boundaries of expectation. Chapter 8 A Week with John's Family The week at the beach house unfolded with a mixture of laughter, bonding, and unexpected moments that Chris could never have anticipated. As he embraced the role of Christina, he found himself immersing into the dynamics of John's family, becoming an integral part of their shared experiences. Days were spent under the sun and by the water, with John's family engaging in a variety of activities. From building sandcastles to playing beach volleyball, Chris found himself fully participating in the fun, allowing his worries and inhibitions to melt away. During a sandcastle building competition, Chris teamed up with John's younger sister, Emily. Their hands worked in tandem, sculpting turrets and moats with enthusiasm. As they worked, Emily chattered away, sharing stories about school, her friends, and her favorite hobbies. I can't believe my big brother finally brought someone to the beach house, Emily exclaimed with a grin. And you're so pretty, Christina. Chris couldn't help but laugh, his heart warming at Emily's candidness. Thank you, Emily. I'm really glad I got to meet you all. As the week progressed, Chris also got to know John's parents on a deeper level. Late-night bonfires provided the perfect setting for conversations that delved into life experiences, dreams, and the joys of family. Chris listened with genuine interest, grateful for the opportunity to connect with the people who meant so much to his friend. One evening, as the flames danced in the fire pit, John's mother, Carol, shared stories about her own adventures in her younger days. Chris couldn't help but be captivated by the spark in her eyes as she talked about road trips, daring choices, and the exhilaration of embracing life's uncertainties. I've always believed that life is meant to be lived fully, Carol said with a smile. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone and taking risks. That's how you discover the most amazing things. Chris's gaze shifted to John, a realization dawning upon him. He had always known John to be adventurous and daring, but he hadn't fully understood the source of that spirit until now. The week also brought about moments of unexpected intimacy between Chris and John. Late night walks on the beach, the sound of waves crashing against the shore, and the distant glow of stars overhead, these moments became windows of vulnerability where they could share their hopes, fears, and dreams. During one such walk, Chris found himself opening up about his own aspirations. You know, John, this experience has made me realize that I've been holding back in certain aspects of my life. I've always played it safe, but there's a part of me that wants to explore more, take risks. John nodded in understanding, his expression thoughtful. 
I think we all have that side of us, Chris. It's just a matter of finding the right moments and the right people to help us bring it to the surface. As the week drew to a close, Chris found himself reflecting on the journey he had undertaken. The transformation into Christina had been a catalyst for change, a journey of self-discovery that had surpassed his expectations. He had not only connected with John's family on a deeper level, but had also uncovered layers of his own identity that he had never explored before. On the final evening, the family gathered around the fire pit once more, sharing stories, roasting marshmallows, and enjoying the camaraderie that had grown stronger over the course of the week. Chris felt a bittersweet ache in his chest as he realized that this chapter of his journey was coming to an end. As the stars twinkled overhead, Chris's gaze met John's, and he couldn't help but feel a profound sense of gratitude. You know, John, I never thought I'd be able to do something like this. Thank you for believing in me and for taking me on this adventure. John's smile was genuine, his eyes reflecting the bond they had forged. Thank you, Chris. This experience wouldn't have been the same without you. You've shown me that it's okay to challenge norms and embrace change. As the night continued, Chris found himself surrounded by laughter and love, his heart full as he looked at the faces of the people he had come to consider his own for this brief, transformative week. In the quiet moments of the night, as the fire crackled and the waves whispered their secrets, Chris couldn't help but feel a sense of wonder for the connections he had formed. He had stepped into a role that had challenged his perceptions, revealed hidden facets of his personality, and deepened his friendship with John and his family. As the week at the beach house came to an end, Chris knew that the journey of self-discovery he had embarked upon was far from over. The lessons he had learned, the connections he had forged, and the memories he had created would forever shape his path, reminding him that sometimes, embracing the unexpected can lead to the most extraordinary and transformative experiences of all. Chapter 9. Navigating Family Dynamics The days following the beach trip found Chris settling into a new routine, one that blurred the lines between his own identity and the persona of Christina. As he navigated family dynamics alongside John, he discovered that embracing change had its own set of challenges and rewards. One evening, Chris joined John for dinner at his parents' house. The atmosphere was warm and inviting, with the scent of a home-cooked meal filling the air. Chris felt a mixture of familiarity and trepidation as he sat at the table, surrounded by John's family. As they chatted about various topics, Chris found himself engaging in conversations that felt both effortless and exhilarating. He shared stories, cracked jokes, and even offered insights into his own life, all from the perspective of Christina. The more he interacted, the more he realized that this experience was helping him explore facets of his personality that had been hidden away. John's father, Richard, leaned back in his chair, a curious expression on his face. Christina, you seem to have quite the adventurous spirit. Tell us about your most daring experience. Chris paused for a moment, his mind racing to come up with a story that matched the narrative he had created. Well, there was this one time when I went skydiving. The feeling of free-falling was exhilarating, and for a moment, I felt like I could conquer anything. John's mother, Carol, smiled warmly. It sounds like you have a real zest for life, Christina. Chris met her gaze, his heart racing with a mixture of exhilaration and vulnerability. I've learned that life is meant to be lived to the fullest, and sometimes, we have to take risks to truly discover ourselves. As dinner continued, Chris found himself becoming more at ease with the role he was playing. He was no longer just an observer but an active participant in the family's interactions, allowing himself to be swept up in the dynamics that had become familiar over the past week. The days that followed brought about moments of connection and camaraderie that further blurred the lines between Chris and Christina. He joined John's family for outings, helped with household tasks, and even participated in a friendly game of charades. It was during these moments that Chris realized the power of embracing change and stepping outside his comfort zone. One afternoon, as Chris and John helped set up for a family barbecue, John's sister Emily pulled Chris aside with a mischievous grin. Christina, can I ask you something? Chris nodded with a smile. Of course, Emily. What's on your mind? Emily's eyes twinkled with curiosity. You and my brother seem really close. Are you two more than just friends? Chris's heart skipped a beat, his mind racing for an appropriate response. Well, Emily, John and I have a special bond. 
We're really good friends who care about each other a lot. Emily nodded thoughtfully, seemingly satisfied with the answer. I think you two make a cute couple. As Emily skipped away to join her friends, Chris's cheeks flushed with a mixture of embarrassment and intrigue. He couldn't help but wonder about the implications of Emily's question and the complexity of the emotions that had been surfacing during this experience. Later that evening, as Chris and John sat by the fire pit, Chris decided to broach the subject. Emily's quite perceptive, isn't she? John chuckled, his eyes meeting Chris's with a knowing look. Yeah, she's always been good at picking up on things. But honestly, I think she's just happy to see me happy. Chris's voice was thoughtful as he spoke. This whole experience has made me question a lot of things, my own identity, the dynamics of our friendship, and even the potential for something more. John's expression turned serious as he met Chris's gaze. Chris, you mean a lot to me, and I appreciate everything you've done for me. But I also want you to know that you don't have to pretend to be someone else for my sake. Chris's heart swelled at the sincerity in John's words. I know, John. But this experience has taught me that there's a lot I can learn from embracing change and challenging my own perceptions. As the night wore on, Chris and John found themselves sharing their thoughts, fears, and hopes in a way that felt more intimate than ever before. The fire crackled, casting a warm glow over their faces as they navigated the complexities of their friendship and the uncharted territory that lay ahead. In the days that followed, Chris continued to navigate family dynamics alongside John, learning to balance his own identity with the role of Christina. He discovered that embracing change wasn't just about adopting a new persona, it was about uncovering hidden facets of himself, forming deeper connections with others, and realizing that the journey of self-discovery was an ongoing process. As the chapter of Chris's life that included Christina continued to unfold, he found himself grateful for the lessons he had learned, the relationships he had formed, and the realization that sometimes, embracing the unfamiliar could lead to the most profound and transformative experiences of all. Chapter 10. Unexpected Connections. As the days turned into weeks, Chris's journey as Christina continued to evolve, leading him down a path of unexpected connections, self-discovery, and a deeper understanding of the people around him. One sunny afternoon, Chris and John found themselves exploring a local farmer's market, the vibrant colors and bustling atmosphere creating a lively backdrop. They strolled through the stalls, sampling fresh produce, homemade treats, and engaging in conversations with local vendors. As they browsed, a stall selling handcrafted jewelry caught Christina's eye. The pieces on display ranged from delicate necklaces to intricate bracelets, each one a work of art. Chris's heart raced with excitement as he fingered a bracelet made from polished stones and intricate metalwork. Go ahead, try it on, John encouraged, a smile on his lips. Chris hesitated for a moment before slipping the bracelet onto his wrist. The cool touch of the stone sent a shiver down his spine, and he couldn't help but admire the intricate details of the piece. It suits you, John remarked, his eyes holding a mixture of admiration and curiosity. Chris's cheeks flushed with a mixture of embarrassment and pride. You really think so? John's grin was infectious. Definitely. And you know what they say, accessories are the key to perfecting any look. As they continued to explore the market, Chris found himself engaging in conversations with vendors and other visitors, each interaction revealing a new layer of Christina's persona. He shared stories, exchanged laughter, and even helped a young boy pick out a gift for his mother. During a conversation with a local artist, Chris discovered a shared love for painting and creativity. The artist's eyes sparkled with enthusiasm as they talked about their inspirations and the joy of creating art that resonated with others. I believe that art is a way of connecting with people on a deeper level, the artist explained. It's a way of expressing our inner thoughts and emotions, and when someone connects with your art, it's like a piece of your soul has touched theirs. Chris couldn't help but be moved by the sentiment, realizing that this experience as Christina was indeed a form of art, a way of connecting, expressing, and touching the lives of those around him in unexpected ways. As the weeks passed, Chris also found himself forming unexpected connections with other members of John's family. He spent hours talking with John's father, Richard, about his love for classic cars and the thrill of restoring them to their former glory. Richard's eyes would light up as he recounted tales of his own experiences with vintage vehicles, and Chris found himself captivated by the passion and nostalgia in his stories. 
During a family game night, Chris and John's mother, Carol, formed an unlikely alliance as they teamed up for a game of trivia. Their shared knowledge of history and pop culture made them a formidable duo, and they exchanged triumphant high fives whenever they answered a question correctly. One evening, as Chris and John sat on the porch, sipping on hot cups of tea, John's younger sister, Emily, joined them with a sketchbook in hand. She showed Chris her latest drawings, each one a testament to her creative imagination and talent. I love drawing people, Emily admitted with a shy smile. I try to capture their emotions and personalities in my sketches. Chris leaned in to get a closer look, genuinely impressed by Emily's artistic skill. You have a real talent, Emily. Your drawings have a way of bringing out the essence of your subjects. Emily's cheeks turned pink with pride. Thank you, Christina. I really appreciate that. As Chris and John continued to navigate family dynamics and explore unexpected connections, Chris's perception of the role he was playing began to shift. He realized that Christina wasn't just a character he was portraying, it was a persona that had revealed hidden facets of his personality, allowed him to form deeper connections, and shown him the power of embracing change. One evening, as Chris sat on the porch, gazing out at the stars, John joined him with a contemplative expression. You know, Chris, I've been thinking about this whole experience. Chris turned to meet John's gaze, his curiosity peaked. What's on your mind? John's voice was thoughtful as he spoke. At first, I asked you to become Christina to help me out with my family. But as time went on, I realized that this experience has been about so much more than that. Chris nodded in agreement. I feel the same way. It's been a journey of self-discovery, unexpected connections, and embracing change. John's eyes held a mixture of gratitude and sincerity. I'm really glad you agreed to do this, Chris. You've shown me that we're capable of breaking free from societal expectations and discovering new layers of ourselves. Chris's smile was genuine as he met John's gaze. And you've shown me the power of friendship, the value of embracing the unfamiliar, and the beauty of forming connections that transcend roles and identities. As the stars twinkled above, Chris felt a sense of contentment settle over him. The journey as Christina had been more transformative and profound than he could have imagined, and he was grateful for the unexpected connections, the self-discovery, and the lessons he had learned along the way. As the final days of the experience drew near, Chris knew that he was no longer just playing a role, he was living a chapter of his life that had forever changed the way he viewed himself, his friendship with John, and the endless possibilities that existed beyond the boundaries of expectation. Chapter 11. Conflicting Emotions. As the journey continued, Chris found himself grappling with a whirlwind of conflicting emotions that had taken root within him. The experience of being Christina had opened up a new world of possibilities, but it had also brought to the surface feelings that were both exhilarating and unnerving. One evening, as Chris and John sat on the porch, the sound of crickets filling the air, Chris's thoughts couldn't help but drift towards the complexities of the experience. John, Chris began hesitantly, this whole experience has been incredible, but I can't deny that it's also been a roller coaster of emotions. John's gaze was understanding as he turned to face Chris. I know what you mean. It's not easy to navigate the line between who you are and the role you're playing. Chris nodded, a mixture of frustration and introspection in his eyes. Exactly. There are times when I feel like I'm being pulled in two different directions. On one hand, I've discovered a side of myself that I never knew existed. On the other hand, I can't shake off the feeling that I'm pretending to be someone I'm not. John's voice was gentle as he spoke. Chris, I want you to know that whatever you're feeling is valid. This experience was meant to be an exploration, and it's okay, to have conflicting emotions. Chris let out a sigh, his fingers gripping the edge of the porch swing. It's just that I never expected this to be so complicated. I thought I could easily slip into the role of Christina, but it's like I'm living in two worlds at once. John leaned back, his expression thoughtful. You know, Chris, maybe it's not about living in two worlds. Maybe it's about finding a balance between them. Christina isn't a separate entity from you, she's an aspect of you that's come to the surface through this experience. Chris's brow furrowed as he absorbed John's words. But what if embracing this aspect of me changes things? What if it alters my friendships, my relationships, or even how I perceive myself? 
John's gaze held a mixture of compassion and understanding. Change is a part of life, Chris. And sometimes, change can lead to growth. Embracing different aspects of ourselves doesn't diminish who we are, it enriches our understanding of ourselves. As the night continued, Chris found himself reflecting on John's words. The conflicting emotions he had been experiencing were a natural part of the journey, and perhaps it was time to confront them head-on. The next day, as Chris stood in front of the mirror, gazing at the reflection of Christina, he realized that he needed to address the emotions that had been swirling within him. With a determined expression, he picked up his phone and dialed John's number. Hey, John, Chris began when John answered the call. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I think it's time we have an honest conversation. John's voice was attentive on the other end of the line. I'm all ears, Chris. Chris took a deep breath, his heart racing with a mixture of vulnerability and resolve. This experience as Christina has been transformative in more ways than one. I've learned a lot about myself, about friendship, and about the power of embracing change. But I've also realized that I can't continue this indefinitely. There was a moment of silence before John responded. I understand, Chris. This was never meant to be a permanent arrangement. It was about exploring, learning, and growing. Chris's voice was earnest as he continued. I want you to know that I'm grateful for this experience. But I also need to find my own path, one that aligns with who I am and what I want in life. John's tone was supportive as he spoke. Chris, I want you to do what feels right for you. Your happiness and well being are what matter most. As they continued to talk, Chris felt a weight lifting off his shoulders. He realized that addressing his conflicting emotions wasn't a sign of weakness, it was a step towards clarity and self discovery. Over the next few days, Chris continued to navigate the remaining days of the experience with a renewed sense of purpose. He embraced the interactions, the connections, and the lessons that had come his way, all the while acknowledging that the time for the persona of Christina was drawing to a close. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and cast a warm glow over the surroundings, Chris found himself sitting on the porch with John once more. The air was filled with a mixture of nostalgia and anticipation, and Chris couldn't help but reflect on the journey that had brought him to this moment. John, Chris began, his voice steady, I want you to know that this experience has been incredibly meaningful to me. It's shown me the value of stepping outside my comfort zone, embracing change, and forming connections that transcend roles and identities. John smiled warmly, his eyes reflecting a shared understanding. And I want you to know that I'm grateful for everything you've done, Chris. You've shown me the power of friendship, the beauty of embracing the unfamiliar, and the importance of supporting each other's journeys. As the days turned into the final moments of the experience, Chris felt a sense of closure and gratitude settling over him. He had navigated conflicting emotions, learned valuable lessons, and discovered a new sense of self that would forever shape his path. As he stood on the beach one last time, the waves crashing against the shore, Chris whispered a silent thank you to the universe, for the unexpected connections, the transformative journey, and the reminder that sometimes, embracing the conflicting emotions within us can lead to the most profound and authentic forms of self-discovery. Chapter 12. John's Growing Affection. As the days continued to unfold, Chris couldn't help but notice a subtle shift in John's demeanor, a change that left him both intrigued and uncertain. John's actions, words, and the way he looked at Chris had taken on a new depth, leaving Chris to grapple with the possibility that their friendship was evolving into something more. One evening, as they sat on the porch, sipping on hot mugs of cocoa, Chris couldn't ignore the feeling that had been growing within him. He decided to address the topic that had been on his mind. John, Chris began hesitantly, I've noticed that things between us have been, different lately. John's gaze met Chris's, his expression a mixture of curiosity and introspection. Different in what way, Chris? Chris's voice was gentle as he continued. It's hard to put into words, but I feel like there's something unspoken between us, an undercurrent of emotions that's been growing stronger. John's lips curved into a small smile, his eyes holding a mixture of vulnerability and understanding. You're right, Chris. This experience has brought us closer, and I've found myself looking at you in a new light. Chris's heart raced, his mind racing to process John's words. What do you mean, a new light? John took a deep breath, his gaze never leaving Chris's. 
Chris, the more time I've spent with you as Christina, the more I've come to appreciate the person you are. I've admired your courage, your humor, and the way you've embraced change. Chris's cheeks flushed with a mixture of embarrassment and hope. John, I'm glad I could be there for you during this experience. John's smile was warm as he spoke. It's more than that, Chris. I've realized that I care about you deeply, and that my feelings for you have grown stronger over the course of this journey. Chris's heart was pounding in his chest, his emotions swirling in a mixture of surprise and elation. John, are you saying? John's voice was earnest as he met Chris's gaze. I'm saying that I've fallen in love with you, Chris. I never expected it, but it's the truth. The moment hung between them, charged with a mixture of emotions. Chris's mind raced, grappling with the realization that John's growing affection was more than just a figment of his imagination. John, Chris began, his voice shaky, this whole experience has brought up a whirlwind of emotions for me as well. I've felt a deep connection with you, and I've questioned the boundaries of friendship. John's fingers reached out, gently cupping Chris's cheek. Chris, I want you to know that I don't expect anything from you. I just felt that it was important for me to be honest about my feelings. Chris's heart was in turmoil, torn between the fear of disrupting their friendship and the exhilaration of the possibility that their connection could deepen even further. John, I care about you a lot, but I'm also afraid of what this might mean for us. John's thumb brushed against Chris's cheek, his touch tender. I understand your concerns, Chris. I don't want to jeopardize our friendship either. But I also believe that sometimes, taking risks is worth it. As the night continued, Chris and John found themselves engaged in a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that explored the complexities of their evolving relationship. They shared their fears, their hopes, and their uncertainties, each word bringing them closer to a deeper understanding of themselves and each other. Days turned into weeks, and Chris and John continued to navigate their feelings while still enjoying their time together. They laughed, shared stories, and engaged in activities that had become a significant part of their journey. One afternoon, as they walked along a scenic trail, John reached out and took Chris's hand in his. The simple gesture sent a rush of warmth through Chris's veins, a silent acknowledgement of the unspoken bond that had grown between them. Chris, John began softly, I want you to know that whatever happens between us, I value our friendship more than anything. If taking things to the next level is too much, I'll understand. Chris's fingers tightened around John's hand, his heart racing with a mixture of apprehension and longing. John, I care about you deeply, and I've come to realize that sometimes, taking risks is the only way to truly know what the heart desires. John's smile was tender as he met Chris's gaze. Then let's take this journey together, one step at a time. As the weeks turned into months, Chris and John's relationship continued to evolve, marked by shared experiences, meaningful conversations, and the willingness to explore the uncharted territory of their feelings. They navigated the complexities of friendship and romance with a sense of openness and vulnerability, learning to embrace the unexpected and cherish the connections that had been forged. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the stars twinkling overhead, Chris couldn't help but reflect on the journey that had led them to this point. The evolution of their relationship had been a testament to the power of taking risks, embracing change, and allowing oneself to be guided by the heart's true desires. John, Chris began, his voice soft yet resolute, this experience has taught me that sometimes, the most extraordinary connections come from the unexpected. I'm grateful for the journey we've taken, and I'm excited to see where our path leads. John's fingers intertwined with Chris's, their connection a testament to the unspoken bond that had grown between them. Chris, I feel the same way. Our journey has been filled with twists and turns, but I wouldn't have it any other way. As they looked out into the night, the future stretched before them, a canvas waiting to be painted with the colors of their shared experiences and the depth of their growing affection. Amidst the stars and the gentle breeze, Chris knew that their journey was far from over, a journey that had begun with unexpected connections and had blossomed into a love that was as profound as it was extraordinary. Chapter 13 An Intimate Bond as Chris and John's relationship deepened, they found themselves navigating an intimate bond that was both tender and transformative. Their connection was marked by shared moments, heartfelt conversations, and a growing sense of trust that allowed them to explore the depths of their emotions. 
One evening, Chris and John decided to take a leisurely stroll along the beach, the waves lapping at the shore and the setting sun casting a warm, golden glow. The air was filled with a mixture of anticipation and vulnerability as they walked side by side, their footsteps leaving imprints in the sand. I've been thinking, John began, his voice soft yet resolute, about how much our relationship has evolved since that day you agreed to become Christina. Chris nodded in agreement, a smile tugging at his lips. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? John's gaze was warm as he turned to face Chris. More than I could have ever imagined. And I'm grateful for every moment we've shared. As they continued to walk, John's hand brushed against Chris's, their fingers intertwining in a silent display of affection. The connection between them was palpable, a testament to the bond that had grown stronger with each passing day. Chris, John began, his voice tinged with a mixture of vulnerability and sincerity, there's something I want to share with you. Chris's heart skipped a beat, curiosity and anticipation filling his chest. What is it, John? John took a deep breath, his gaze never leaving Chris's. I've realized that my feelings for you have deepened even further. I'm in love with you, Chris, and I want to explore this connection on a deeper level. Chris's cheeks flushed with a mixture of surprise and elation. John, I've felt the same way. The journey we've taken together has been transformative, and my feelings for you have grown stronger as well. John's smile was genuine, his eyes reflecting a mixture of relief and happiness. I'm glad to hear that. Chris, I want to be honest with you and show you that my intentions are sincere. Chris's heart swelled with gratitude as he met John's gaze. John, your honesty means the world to me. I've come to realize that the path we're on is one I want to explore, even if it's unfamiliar and comes with its own set of challenges. As they continued to walk along the beach, their fingers remained intertwined, each step drawing them closer to a deeper understanding of their emotions and the uncharted territory of their connection. Days turned into weeks, and Chris and John's relationship evolved into a bond that was as intimate as it was transformative. They shared laughter, exchanged stories, and found solace in each other's presence. Every moment they spent together was an exploration of their shared affections and a celebration of the connection that had blossomed between them. One afternoon, as they lounged on the porch, the sun casting dappled shadows on the ground, Chris felt a surge of gratitude for the journey they had embarked upon. John, Chris began, his voice soft yet earnest, this experience has shown me the power of vulnerability and the beauty of embracing our true selves. John's fingers brushed against Chris's, their touch sending a shiver of warmth through Chris's veins. It's also shown me that love can be both unexpected and extraordinary. I never imagined that I'd find someone who understands me on such a deep level. Chris's smile was tender as he met John's gaze. Our connection feels like destiny, like the pieces of a puzzle falling into place. And I'm grateful for every moment we've shared. As the weeks continued to unfold, Chris and John's intimacy deepened, marked by shared nights under the stars, whispered conversations, and the unspoken language that existed between them. They navigated the complexities of their evolving relationship with a sense of wonder, learning to cherish the vulnerability and authenticity that defined their bond. One evening, as they sat by the fire pit, the flames dancing in the darkness, Chris's fingers traced patterns on John's hand, their touch a silent declaration of the connection that had grown between them. Chris, John began, his voice low and steady, I want you to know that I'm committed to this journey, to us. I want to explore every facet of our connection and build a future together. Chris's heart swelled with emotion as he met John's gaze, his voice filled with sincerity. John, I feel the same way. Our connection is unlike anything I've ever experienced, and I'm excited to see where our path leads. As the night deepened, Chris and John found themselves drawn into an embrace that was both tender and profound. Their hearts beat in sync, a testament to the intimacy that had grown between them and the unspoken promise of a future filled with shared dreams and endless possibilities. In the quiet moments of the night, as the fire crackled and the stars twinkled above, Chris knew that the bond he shared with John was a love that transcended roles, identities, and societal expectations. It was an intimate connection that had been forged through vulnerability, shared experiences, and the willingness to explore the uncharted territory of their hearts. As they held each other close, Chris felt a sense of serenity settle over him. 
The journey they had embarked upon had brought them to this moment, a moment of profound connection, authentic affection, and the realization that sometimes, the most meaningful bonds are the ones that are nurtured by love, understanding, and the courage to embrace the depths of the heart. Chapter 14. Unmasking Truths. As Chris and John's relationship deepened, a new chapter of their journey began, one that was marked by vulnerability, shared truths, and the unmasking of emotions that had long been hidden beneath the surface. The bond they shared grew stronger as they navigated the complexities of their evolving connection. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the stars twinkling above, Chris felt a sense of anticipation in the air. He had been holding on to a truth that he knew he needed to share with John, a truth that had the power to shape the course of their relationship. John, Chris began, his voice gentle yet determined, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. John's gaze was attentive, his expression a mixture of curiosity and support. You can always talk to me, Chris. What's on your mind? Chris took a deep breath, his heart pounding in his chest. John, I want you to know that while this experience as Christina has been transformative for me, I've also realized that the feelings I've developed for you aren't limited to the persona I've taken on. John's brows furrowed, his expression one of surprise and contemplation. Chris, are you saying that the emotions you've felt as Christina also reflect how you feel as yourself? Chris nodded, his voice steady as he continued. Yes, John. The connection we've formed, the affection that's grown between us, it's not confined to a role or a persona. It's a reflection of the bond that's developed between us, regardless of the masks we've worn. John's eyes held a mixture of realization and warmth. Chris, I appreciate your honesty. It takes courage to share your true feelings, and I want you to know that I value your openness. Chris's cheeks flushed with a mixture of vulnerability and relief. John, I know that this might complicate things, but I couldn't keep this truth from you any longer. Our connection means too much to me. John's fingers reached out, gently brushing against Chris's hand. Chris, your feelings are valid, and I want you to know that my affection for you has grown as well, both as Christina and as yourself. I believe that the journey we're on is about discovering the depths of our emotions and exploring the uncharted territory of our hearts. As they sat on the porch, the weight of unspoken truths lifted from their shoulders, leaving behind a sense of clarity and understanding that deepened their bond. Chris realized that the honesty he had shared was a testament to the authenticity of their connection, a connection that was built on vulnerability, trust, and the willingness to embrace the complexities of their emotions. In the days that followed, Chris and John continued to explore their evolving relationship with a newfound sense of intimacy. They engaged in heartfelt conversations, shared aspirations, and navigated the challenges that came with unmasking their true emotions. The unspoken language that existed between them had evolved into a shared understanding that transcended words. One afternoon, as they walked along a scenic trail, the sun casting a warm glow over the surroundings, John turned to Chris with a thoughtful expression. Chris, John began, I want you to know that my feelings for you are sincere. I've come to realize that love is a complex and beautiful journey, one that's worth embracing, even if it means stepping into the unknown. Chris's heart swelled with affection as he met John's gaze. John, I feel the same way. Our connection has shown me that love isn't confined to roles or expectations, it's about being true to ourselves and embracing the emotions that bind us. As they continued to walk, John's fingers brushed against Chris's, their touch a silent affirmation of the unspoken promises they had shared. The journey they had embarked upon was a testament to the power of authenticity, vulnerability, and the depth of emotions that could be unearthed when masks were set aside. One evening, as they sat by the fire pit, the flames dancing in the darkness, Chris felt a sense of gratitude for the shared truths that had shaped their relationship. John, Chris began, his voice soft yet resolute, this experience has taught me that authenticity is a form of courage, and that unmasking our emotions is a way of honoring the connection we've formed. John's fingers found their way to Chris's, their touch a silent acknowledgement of the sentiment shared between them. Chris, I couldn't agree more. Our journey has been about discovering our true selves and embracing the emotions that make us who we are. As the fire crackled and the stars above shimmered in the night sky, Chris knew that the unmasking of their truths had brought them closer to a love that was as profound as it was authentic. The connection they shared was built on the foundation of honesty, vulnerability, and the understanding that sometimes, the most meaningful bonds are the ones that emerge from the depths of the heart, 
unburdened by masks or expectations. In the quiet moments of the night, as the world around them settled into stillness, Chris realized that their journey of unmasking truths had led them to a love that was as genuine as it was extraordinary, a love that had the power to transcend roles, identities, and the barriers that often separate U.S. from our deepest desires. Chapter 15 Acceptance and Understanding As Chris and John's relationship continued to evolve, they found themselves navigating a new phase marked by acceptance, understanding, and a deepening sense of connection. The bond they shared had transformed into a love that defied boundaries, a love that was built on a foundation of authenticity and mutual respect. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the soft glow of moonlight casting a serene ambience, Chris found himself reflecting on the journey that had brought them to this point. He turned to John with a contemplative expression. John, Chris began, his voice soft yet resolute, I've been thinking about how far we've come. Our journey has been filled with unexpected twists and turns, but through it all, our connection has remained strong. John's gaze was warm and unwavering as he met Chris's eyes. You're right, Chris. Our relationship has deepened in ways I never could have predicted, and I'm grateful for every moment we've shared. Chris nodded, a sense of gratitude swelling in his chest. What we have feels unique, special. It's a connection that goes beyond roles and personas. John's smile was filled with understanding. Exactly. Our bond is built on acceptance, acceptance of who we are as individuals and the emotions that have grown between us. Chris's fingers reached out, gently intertwining with John's. The touch was both comforting and electrifying, a silent affirmation of the shared sentiments that existed between them. John, Chris began, his voice tinged with vulnerability, this journey has shown me the power of acceptance and understanding. It's taught me that love can be both complex and beautiful, and that being true to ourselves is the key to fostering a deep connection. John's thumb brushed against Chris's hand, his touch gentle. Chris, I've come to realize that love is about embracing every aspect of a person, their strengths, vulnerabilities, and everything in between. It's about creating a space where we can be our authentic selves without fear of judgment. As they continued to talk, the night wrapped around them like a warm embrace, creating an atmosphere of intimacy and shared understanding. Chris felt a sense of peace settle over him, knowing that the journey they had embarked upon was one of mutual growth, compassion, and the willingness to embrace each other's truths. Days turned into weeks, and Chris and John continued to explore the depths of their connection with a newfound sense of acceptance. They engaged in conversations that delved into their pasts, their dreams, and the intricacies of their emotions. Every shared moment was a testament to the trust they had cultivated and the deepening bond that held them together. One afternoon, as they sat by the beach, the waves crashing against the shore, Chris found himself opening up to John in a way he hadn't before. John, Chris began, his voice tinged with vulnerability, there's something I've been carrying with me for a long time. Something I've never really shared with anyone. John's gaze was attentive, his expression one of support and encouragement. Chris, you can share anything with me. I'm here for you. Chris took a deep breath, his heart racing as he prepared to reveal a truth that had long remained hidden. I've always struggled with self-acceptance, Chris admitted, his voice soft yet determined. Growing up, I often felt like I didn't fit in, like I was different. And while this experience as Christina has been transformative, I still carry those insecurities within me. John's eyes held a mixture of empathy and understanding. Chris, I want you to know that you're not alone in feeling that way. Many of us grapple with self-doubt and insecurities. But what matters is that you're taking steps towards self-acceptance and embracing who you are. Chris's fingers traced patterns on the sand, his thoughts deep in reflection. Being with you has shown me that acceptance isn't just about how others perceive us, it's also about how we perceive ourselves. Your support and understanding have been a guiding light for me. John's voice was filled with sincerity as he spoke. Chris, you're a remarkable person, and you deserve to embrace every facet of yourself. The journey towards self-acceptance is ongoing, and I'm here to support you every step of the way. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting hues of orange and pink across the sky, Chris felt a sense of comfort in John's presence. The honesty and understanding they shared was a testament to the depth of their connection, a connection that was rooted in acceptance, compassion, and the mutual desire to uplift and support each other. 
In the weeks that followed, Chris continued to work on his journey towards self-acceptance, buoyed by John's unwavering support and the shared experiences that had brought them closer. They engaged in activities that allowed them to explore their passions, to challenge their fears, and to celebrate the progress they were making individually and as a couple. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the stars above sparkling like diamonds, Chris turned to John with a smile. John, Chris began, his voice filled with gratitude, I want to thank you for being a source of acceptance and understanding in my life. Your presence has made all the difference. John's fingers brushed against Chris's, their touch gentle and reassuring. Chris, you don't need to thank me. Being with you has enriched my life in ways I can't describe. Our connection is built on mutual growth, support, and the genuine desire to be there for each other. Chris's heart swelled with affection as he met John's gaze. And I want you to know that I'm here for you as well. Our journey of acceptance and understanding is a reflection of the love we share. As the night continued, Chris and John sat side by side, basking in the beauty of the moment. The bond they shared was a testament to the power of acceptance, to accept oneself, to accept each other, and to create a space where their hearts could flourish in the glow of authenticity and mutual respect. In the quiet moments of the night, as the stars shone brightly above, Chris realized that the journey they were on wasn't just about finding love, it was about discovering the beauty of embracing every facet of oneself and sharing that journey with someone who cherished and understood the true essence of who they were. Chapter 16 Embracing Identity As Chris and John's relationship continued to flourish, a sense of serenity settled over their journey. Their connection had evolved into a love that was rooted in acceptance, vulnerability, and a shared understanding of each other's true selves. In this chapter of their story, they would come to embrace their identities more fully, celebrating the beauty of being true to who they were. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the soft breeze carrying the scent of blooming flowers, Chris turned to John with a contemplative expression. John, Chris began, his voice tinged with introspection, this journey has taught me the importance of embracing one's true identity. It's shown me that the masks we wear can sometimes prevent us from fully experiencing the richness of life. John's gaze was attentive, his eyes reflecting a shared sentiment. You're absolutely right, Chris. The journey of self-discovery is about peeling back those layers and embracing the person we are at our core. Chris nodded, a sense of clarity settling over him. It's been a transformative experience for me, both as Christina and as myself. I've learned that authenticity is a form of strength, and that embracing our true identity can lead to profound connections. John's smile was warm and reassuring. Chris, your journey towards self-acceptance and authenticity has been inspiring to witness. You've shown that vulnerability can be a source of empowerment. As they continued to talk, the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the surroundings. Chris felt a deep sense of gratitude for the growth he had experienced and the support he had received from John. Days turned into weeks, and Chris and John continued to explore their identities with a newfound sense of purpose. They engaged in activities that allowed them to express themselves authentically, whether it was pursuing hobbies, sharing stories from their pasts, or simply being true to their emotions. One afternoon, as they walked through a local art gallery, Chris found himself drawn to a painting that depicted a person unmasked, their true identity shining through. John, Chris said, his voice filled with awe, this painting resonates with me. It's a visual representation of the journey we're on, revealing our true selves and embracing our identity. John's eyes followed Chris's gaze, his expression thoughtful. You're right, Chris. The process of unmasking and embracing our identity is a form of self-expression, a way of honoring who we are and the unique experiences that have shaped us. Chris smiled, a sense of camaraderie filling the air. And just like this painting, our journey is a work of art in progress. It's about embracing the brushstrokes of our past, present, and future to create a masterpiece of authenticity. As they continued to explore the art gallery, Chris and John found themselves engaging in conversations that delved into their individual identities and the shared path they were navigating. They celebrated each other's triumphs, supported each other's growth, and reveled in the beauty of a love that was as profound as it was genuine. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the stars above shining brightly, Chris turned to John with a smile. John, Chris began, his voice filled with sincerity, I want you to know that being with you has allowed me to embrace my identity more fully. 
Your support and acceptance have given me the confidence to be myself. John's fingers reached out, gently touching Chris's cheek. Chris, you've also given me the courage to embrace my identity. Our journey together has been a mutual exploration of authenticity, and I'm grateful for the role you've played in my life. Chris's heart swelled with affection as he met John's gaze. And I want you to know that I'm committed to this journey of self-discovery, with you by my side. Our connection is a reminder that love flourishes in the spaces where authenticity and acceptance intersect. As the night continued, Chris and John sat in companionable silence, gazing at the stars above. The journey they were on was about more than just romantic love, it was about the profound connection they had forged by embracing their true identities and sharing that authenticity with each other. In the quiet moments of the night, as the world around them settled into stillness, Chris realized that their journey of embracing identity had led them to a love that was as genuine as it was extraordinary. A love that celebrated the beauty of being true to oneself and sharing that truth with someone who saw, understood, and cherished every aspect of who they were. Chapter 17. A New Beginning. As Chris and John's relationship continued to flourish, a new chapter unfolded, one that was marked by hope, anticipation, and the promise of a shared future. Their journey had brought them closer than ever before, and the bond they shared was unbreakable, a testament to the love that had blossomed between them. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the air filled with a sense of excitement. Chris turned to John with a smile, his heart fluttering with a mixture of emotions. John, Chris began, his voice filled with anticipation, I've been thinking about the journey we've taken and the connection we share. It feels like we're standing on the brink of a new beginning. John's gaze was warm and attentive, his eyes reflecting a shared sentiment. You're right, Chris. Our journey has been transformative, and I believe that the path ahead holds even more promise. Chris's smile was filled with hope as he met John's gaze. I'm excited about the possibilities that lie ahead, about the life we can build together. John's fingers reached out, gently brushing against Chris's hand. The touch was both comforting and electrifying, a silent affirmation of the shared sentiments that existed between them. Chris, John began, his voice tinged with sincerity, I've come to realize that you're not just my partner, you're my confidant, my companion, and the person I want to build a future with. Chris's heart swelled with affection, his voice filled with sincerity. John, I feel the same way. Our connection is built on a foundation of authenticity, acceptance, and the understanding that we can be our true selves with each other. As they continued to talk, the moon cast a soft glow over the surroundings, creating an atmosphere of intimacy and shared dreams. Chris felt a sense of serenity settle over him, knowing that the journey they had embarked upon had brought them to this moment, a moment of hope, love, and the promise of a new beginning. Days turned into weeks, and Chris and John continued to explore the possibilities that lay ahead. They discussed their aspirations, their dreams, and the shared vision they had for their future. Every conversation was a reminder of the depth of their connection and the unspoken promise that held them together. One afternoon, as they took a leisurely stroll through a park, hand in hand, Chris turned to John with a thoughtful expression. John, Chris began, his voice tinged with excitement, I've been imagining what our future could look like, the adventures we'll have, the memories we'll create. John's smile was filled with warmth, his eyes reflecting a shared enthusiasm. Chris, I've been doing the same. I can see us exploring new places, sharing laughter, and facing challenges together. Chris's heart raced as he continued, his voice a mixture of hope and determination. I want our future to be a continuation of the journey we've taken, a journey of growth, love, and the willingness to be true to ourselves. John's fingers tightened around Chris's, their touch a silent promise of the future they were envisioning together. Chris, our journey has taught me that love is about embracing every moment, even the ones that are uncertain. I'm excited to build a life with you. As the sun began to set, casting hues of orange and pink across the sky, Chris felt a profound sense of gratitude for the love he had found and the person he had found it with. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the stars above sparkling like diamonds, Chris turned to John with a smile. John, Chris began, his voice filled with determination, I want you to know that I'm ready for this new beginning, for the life we can create together. John's fingers brushed against Chris's cheek, his touch tender and reassuring. Chris, I share your sentiment. I'm ready to embark on this journey with you, to face the unknown together. Chris's heart swelled with affection as he met John's gaze. 
and I want you to know that I'm committed to building a future filled with love, understanding, and shared dreams. As the night continued, Chris and John sat side by side, gazing at the stars above. The new beginning they were embracing was a testament to the strength of their connection, a connection that had weathered challenges, celebrated growth, and blossomed into a love that was as profound as it was extraordinary. In the quiet moments of the night, as the world around them settled into stillness, Chris realized that their journey of a new beginning was a reflection of the power of love, a love that had the ability to shape the course of their lives, to light up their path, and to create a future that was as beautiful as the love they had found in each other's hearts. Chapter 18. Love Unveiled. As Chris and John's journey continued to unfold, they found themselves entering a chapter that was marked by the unveiling of their love, a love that had grown stronger with every shared moment, every heartfelt conversation, and every step they had taken together. The bond they shared had transformed into a love that was undeniable, unbreakable, and deeply intertwined with their identities. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the moonlight casting a soft glow, Chris turned to John with a contemplative expression. John, Chris began, his voice tinged with reflection, our journey has led us to this point, a place of authenticity, acceptance, and a love that's unlike anything I've ever experienced. John's gaze was filled with affection, his eyes reflecting a shared sentiment. You're right, Chris. Our love has flourished in the spaces where we've been true to ourselves and to each other. Chris nodded, a sense of wonder filling the air. It's as if our connection was always meant to be, a love that was waiting to be unveiled. John's fingers reached out, gently intertwining with Chris's. The touch was both reassuring and electrifying, a silent affirmation of the shared sentiments that existed between them. Chris, John began, his voice soft yet resolute, I want you to know that my love for you has grown stronger with every passing day. You've become an integral part of my life, and I'm grateful for the love we share. Chris's heart swelled with affection, his voice filled with sincerity. John, I feel the same way. Our connection goes beyond roles, personas, or expectations, it's a love that's as genuine as it is extraordinary. As they continued to talk, the night wrapped around them like a warm embrace, creating an atmosphere of intimacy and shared emotions. Chris felt a deep sense of serenity settle over him, knowing that the love they had found in each other was a rare and beautiful gift. Days turned into weeks, and Chris and John continued to explore their love with a sense of wonder. They engaged in moments of tenderness, exchanged whispered confessions, and celebrated the shared dreams that were becoming more vivid by the day. One afternoon, as they walked hand in hand through a park, the sun casting dappled shadows on the ground, Chris turned to John with a smile. John, Chris said, his voice filled with affection, I've come to realize that love is a journey of discovery. It's about unveiling the depths of our emotions, our desires, and our dreams. John's smile was warm and knowing, his eyes reflecting a shared understanding. Chris, our journey has taught me that love is about more than just romantic gestures, it's about the everyday moments we share, the laughter, and the comfort of being in each other's presence. Chris nodded, a sense of gratitude filling the air. And I want you to know that every moment we've shared has brought me closer to a love that's as authentic as it is enduring. As they continued their walk, Chris and John found themselves engaging in conversations that delved into the intricacies of their emotions and the unspoken promises they held in their hearts. They navigated the depths of their love with a sense of reverence, knowing that the bond they shared was a treasure worth cherishing. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the stars above shining brightly, Chris turned to John with a smile. John, Chris began, his voice filled with determination, I want you to know that my love for you goes beyond the masks we've worn or the roles we've played. It's a love that's rooted in authenticity and acceptance. John's fingers found their way to Chris's cheek, his touch gentle and affectionate. Chris, your words mean the world to me. Our love is a testament to the journey we've taken, the journey of unveiling our true selves and sharing our hearts. Chris's heart swelled with affection as he met John's gaze. And I want you to know that I'm committed to nurturing this love, to unveiling the depths of my emotions and building a future together. As the night deepened, Chris and John sat in companionable silence, gazing at the stars above. The love they were unveiling was a reflection of the strength of their connection, a connection that had weathered challenges, celebrated growth, and blossomed into a love that was as profound as it was extraordinary. In the quiet moments of the night, as the world around them settled into stillness, 
Chris realized that their journey of unveiling love had led them to a place of profound connection, a place where their hearts beat in sync, where authenticity flourished, and where the promise of a shared future was unveiled in the stars above and the love that illuminated their path. Chapter 19 Facing the World Together As Chris and John's love continued to deepen, a new chapter of their journey began, one that would test the strength of their bond and reaffirm their commitment to facing the world as a united front. Their love, built on authenticity and acceptance, was about to be put to the ultimate test. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the air filled with a sense of anticipation. Chris turned to John with a serious expression, his heart heavy with the weight of the conversation he knew they needed to have. John, Chris began, his voice steady yet earnest, there's something I need to discuss with you. It's about the challenges we might face as a couple. John's gaze was attentive, his eyes reflecting a mixture of curiosity and concern. Chris, you can always talk to me. What's on your mind? Chris took a deep breath, gathering his thoughts before he spoke. John, we both know that our relationship is unique, and there might be people who don't understand or accept us for who we are. I want us to be prepared for any challenges that might come our way. John's expression softened, his understanding evident. Chris, you're right. Our journey has been unconventional, and it's possible that we'll encounter skepticism or judgment from others. But what matters is our love and our commitment to each other. Chris nodded, a mixture of relief and determination filling his chest. I agree, John. Our love is our anchor, and we should never let the opinions of others dictate the course of our relationship. John's fingers reached out, gently touching Chris's hand. Chris, I'm by your side, no matter what challenges we face. Our love is strong, and we'll navigate this journey together. As they continued to talk, the moon cast a soft glow over the surroundings, creating an atmosphere of intimacy and shared resolve. Chris felt a sense of reassurance settle over him, knowing that the love they shared was strong enough to weather any storm. Days turned into weeks, and Chris and John faced the world together with a united front. They encountered moments of adversity, but their commitment to each other remained unwavering. With every challenge, their bond grew stronger, a testament to the depth of their connection and the love that had blossomed between them. One afternoon, as they attended a social event together, Chris couldn't help but notice the curious glances and hushed whispers from some of the attendees. He turned to John, a mixture of concern and determination in his eyes. John, Chris said, his voice low yet resolute, I can sense that some people here are talking about us. It's a reminder that our relationship might not fit the mold of what others expect. John's gaze met Chris's, his expression one of steadfast support. Chris, our love is unique, and that's something to be celebrated. We don't need to conform to anyone else's standards or opinions. What matters is how we feel about each other. Chris nodded, a renewed sense of confidence filling his chest. You're right, John. Our love is our truth, and we shouldn't allow the judgments of others to dim its light. As they mingled with the crowd, Chris and John held onto each other's hands, finding strength in the presence they shared. Their love was a shield against the prying eyes and whispered comments, a reminder that their connection was built on a foundation of authenticity and mutual respect. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the stars above shining brightly, Chris turned to John with a smile. John, Chris began, his voice filled with gratitude, facing the world together has shown me the strength of our bond. It's taught me that our love can overcome any obstacle. John's fingers brushed against Chris's cheek, his touch tender and reassuring. Chris, our journey is a testament to the power of authenticity and the beauty of a love that's unapologetically genuine. We're stronger together, no matter what challenges we face. Chris's heart swelled with affection as he met John's gaze. And I want you to know that I'm proud to face the world with you by my side. Our love is a source of strength and inspiration. As the night continued, Chris and John sat side by side, gazing at the stars above. The journey they were on was a reminder that love could overcome adversity, that authenticity could triumph over judgment, and that facing the world together was a testament to the unbreakable bond they shared. In the quiet moments of the night, as the world around them settled into stillness, Chris realized that their journey of facing the world together was a reflection of the resilience of their love, a love that had the power to conquer doubt, to dispel fear, and to create a future that was illuminated by the light of their shared commitment and unwavering devotion.
Chapter 20. Ever After. As Chris and John's journey reached its final chapter, their love had endured challenges, grown stronger, and blossomed into a profound connection that defied expectations. The bond they shared had transformed into a love that was enduring, authentic, and destined to last for a lifetime. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the air filled with a sense of completion and contentment. Chris turned to John with a smile, his heart full of gratitude for the journey they had taken together. John, Chris began, his voice soft yet filled with emotion, our journey has been an incredible one, a journey of self-discovery, acceptance, and a love that's become the cornerstone of our lives. John's gaze was warm and unwavering, his eyes reflecting a shared sentiment. You're right, Chris. Our journey has been marked by growth, by the challenges we've overcome, and by the love that's flourished in the spaces where we've been true to ourselves. Chris nodded, a sense of wonder filling the air. It's a journey that has brought us to this point, a point of unity, of shared dreams, and of a future that's ours to create. John's fingers reached out, gently intertwining with Chris's. The touch was both comforting and electrifying, a silent affirmation of the shared sentiments that existed between them. Chris, John began, his voice tinged with sincerity, I want you to know that I'm grateful for every moment we've shared. You've become an integral part of my life, and I can't imagine a future without you. Chris's heart swelled with affection, his voice filled with sincerity. John, I feel the same way. Our love is a journey that's meant to continue, a journey of shared experiences, of growth, and of the beauty of being true to ourselves. As they continued to talk, the moon cast a soft glow over the surroundings, creating an atmosphere of intimacy and shared dreams. Chris felt a deep sense of peace settle over him, knowing that the love they had found in each other was a rare and beautiful gift. Days turned into weeks, and Chris and John embraced their future with a sense of unity and anticipation. They planned for the life they would build together, discussing their aspirations, their dreams, and the shared path that lay ahead. One afternoon, as they sat in their favorite park, the sun warming their faces, Chris turned to John with a smile. John, Chris said, his voice filled with hope, I've come to realize that our future is a canvas waiting to be painted, a canvas that holds the brushstrokes of our shared experiences, our love, and our unwavering commitment. John's smile was filled with warmth, his eyes reflecting a shared enthusiasm. Chris, our journey is an ongoing creation, one that we shape together with every choice, every moment, and every shared dream. Chris nodded, a renewed sense of purpose filling his chest. And I want you to know that I'm excited about this next chapter of our lives. Our love is the foundation upon which we'll build our future. As they basked in the beauty of the day, Chris and John found themselves engaging in conversations that delved into the intricacies of their shared dreams and the unspoken promises they held in their hearts. They embraced the future with a sense of unity and anticipation, ready to face whatever challenges or joys lay ahead. One evening, as they sat on the porch, the stars above shining brightly, Chris turned to John with a smile. John, Chris began, his voice filled with determination, our journey has shown me the power of love, a love that's enduring, authentic, and unwavering. John's fingers brushed against Chris's cheek, his touch tender and reassuring. Chris, our love is a testament to the journey we've taken, the journey of growth, understanding, and the beauty of being true to ourselves. Chris's heart swelled with affection as he met John's gaze. And I want you to know that I'm excited to continue this journey with you, to build a future filled with love, shared dreams, and the promise of a lifetime together. As the night deepened, Chris and John sat side by side, gazing at the stars above. The journey they were on was a reminder that love could withstand the tests of time, that authenticity could triumph over adversity, and that their connection was a treasure to be cherished. In the quiet moments of the night, as the world around them settled into stillness, Chris realized that their journey had led them to a place of lasting love, a love that had the power to shape their future, to light up their path, and to create an ever after that was as beautiful as the love they had found in each other's hearts.